bombshell documentary exploring the ties between Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein has accused the royal of being in a relationship with Ghislaine Maxwell. It features interviews with palace insiders and it comes as Prince Andrew prepares to face a civil trial in the US on sex abuse charges. From the way she was allowed to enter and exit the palace at will, um, we realised, suspected that she may have had an intimate relationship with Prince Andrew. It's called Ghislaine, Prince Andrew and the Pedophile, and it airs in the UK today. Uh, for more, we're joined by the Daily Mirror's royal editor, Russell Myers. Um, Russell, you're part of this group of royal watchers that, that looks at the family intimately. Are you shocked at these claims or have you known about it? Well, good morning, Koshi. It was very interesting, this documentary, because it's kind of trying to piece together sort of missing parts. And I think that, you know, a lot of people have, have often wondered about the closeness right. of Ghislaine Maxwell's and Prince Andrew's relationship. And uh, and here there we are, there are certain people saying that they were potentially more than just friends. We know that they had a, a very, very close friendship and, uh, you know, were, were very, very close friends from her university days. But this sort of just spells out potentially mm. how uh, how entwined they were and it, uh, how involved they were within each other's lives. Mm. Friends with benefits. Possibly, mm. that's the allegation, isn't it? But um, are his, um, the security guy's claims now being called into question because of his background? Yes, it appears so. I mean, I, I, I've watched the documentary and I, I saw the, uh, they were billing him as a sort of close protection officer guarding Buckingham Palace. But uh, he actually has got a bit of a checkered past himself. Isn't a man called Paul Page who is, uh, has been convicted for fraud. So he came up with a sort of bizarre story about how uh, sort of pedantic Prince Andrew was. Uh, you know, he, he had uh, a, a collection of teddies in his private apartment that he used to kick off if they weren't arranged in a certain way. Um, I mean, I don't know too much about it, but perhaps it sort of tells you a lot about Prince Andrew's character. Mm. And, uh, you know, that's, all, that's certainly been called into question in, in recent months. Yeah, you go. But he was known as Randy Andy for years. Mm. Also, he was sort of the, you know, the prince out dating mm. anyone in a skirt sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I think so. I mean, you know, he was the Playboy Prince and he, yeah. he played up to that for so many years. And uh, it, it got him into, you know, places with very beautiful women on his arm, falling out of nightclubs. Um, and uh, and I think it's got him into uh, the, the potential mess he's in at the moment yeah. because he wasn't too careful with the company he was keeping. And again, that sort of opens up the questions about his relationship with Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein, which are uh, you know further explored in this documentary right. and no doubt we'll be pouring right. over them in New York in the, uh, in the autumn. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thanks, Russell.